Yeah, the scouting report, man. I've been uh, busting my butt off, man. You know, uh, you know, I'm blessed to be here. You know, this is a childhood dream, but you know, we've been training hard since uh, we won that national championship. So, uh, you know, everything's been great. Like I said, just blessed to be here at the NFL Combine. It's been a long journey. The scouting report in the context of what kind of player? Are you? Yeah, a uh, complete player, man. Someone um, that's going to definitely help a team on the field in terms of, you know, doing whatever I can to win, you well, know. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, you want I'm, I'm going to finish the question. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do whatever do whatever I can to win. And, uh, you know, I'm bringing that mindset of, you know, whether I got to play special teams, whether you five carries a game, 20, you know, whatever we do, uh, whatever we need to win and win a Super Bowl, you know, that's what I'm bringing to the team. And then outside of football, you know, the community service. I'm going to make sure the organization looks good with all my community efforts um, and just bringing the community together. You're one of 18 Wolverines here at the NFL Combine this week. What can you say about all the talent here in Indianapolis, yourself being one of them? Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, that, that's what happens when you win, right? You know, my 18, 17 and including myself, you know, those are some special guys you know, special men on and off the field. And that's what separates, you know, the Michigan Wolverines is, you know, we're just good human beings, you know, people that want to help the community, want to help each other, and most importantly have our brothers back, but, you know, the Michigan community's back. And, um, you know, those guys, I know they're going out, go out there, some already have, and uh, just competed, you know, did really well for themselves. And I'm proud of each and every last one of them. Um, you know, it's a blessing to be here. And so, you know, I'm definitely cheering all my teammates on and hopefully, you know, a lot of us play together, you know, so uh, I'm, I'm excited. No, I haven't. Like, what was it like? Uh, it's been documented about uh, like your upbringing, especially like growing up in the army. Your what kind of work ethic did that instill in you at a very young age? It's making the man that you are now and kind of be that leader both on and off the field. Yeah, uh, you know, growing up where I grew up, um, it just taught me about hard work. You know, just tenacity, going and get it. A uh, hustler mindset and just like a blue collar mindset. You know, whatever you had to do, you know, the job has to get done. And so whether that be, you know, staying up late, waking up early, but the job has to get done. And so that's the type of mindset it, it, it gave me. And, you know, it's helped me uh, get this far. And best believe I'm not going to stop just because, you know, uh, I'm, you know, I'm going to the NFL and be on the NFL roster. You know, I'm going 10 times harder. You know, this is a dream, but uh, the dream's not finished till it's finished. And, you know, I want to win a Super Bowl. I want to win many games and, and, and do a lot of things for the, the next team I play on. So uh, this is just the start, man. But best believe, you know, I got more in the tank. And, I'm, I'm, I'm coming 10 times harder, you know. What kind of jobs did you do on the phone? Uh, you know, I was young, you know, so it really, it really wasn't, it really wasn't many jobs, you know. Uh, but, you know, when I did move out the farm, my dad does have a landscaping business. So I was always working with my dad, um, you know, whether they be cutting trees down, mowing lawn, you know, deed weeding, mulching, um, sodding, you know, laying side down. So you, you name it, you know, I did it with my dad. And, uh, you know, that's why I say, you know, country strong is different than the weight room strength. You know, because it truly is everything's uneven, you know, lifting logs and, and, and stuff like that. So uh, What's your favorite job, uh my favorite job, uh, you know, all those you know, I enjoy, you know, mowing the line, but I also like getting my, my hands dirty. I like mowing the line, you know, because it's a peace of mind when I'm just mowing the line, looking around the breeze, the birds, you know, you name it. You know, then you look back at all the stripes, right? I like lining lining the yards, you know, so uh, make it look good. But, you know, also I like just working with my dad growing up. You know, I, I just enjoyed that. A lot of good memories. Hey, you uh, from Michigan to the Ravens, what do you think it would be like on the I would be great just because, you know, I went to St. Francis Academy in Baltimore. So, then, you know, the Ravens uh, isn't too far from uh, East Chase Street, you know. So uh, it, it would be great. You know, I, I, bet, I best uh, believe they're probably similar in ways. You know, all the, you know, hard balls are, you know, just great people down to earth, good coaches, players, coaches. And so, you know, if I got the chance to play for uh, Coach John Harbaugh, you know, uh, that'd be great. Well, it's been a lot of Michigan draft picks, obviously, throughout the, the Harbaugh tenure. But uh, skill positions, uh, you, Roman, uh, not a lot of day one, day two selections in there, you guys. But I mean, guess what does that sort of mean to you? Like, not just D line, defensive backs, right? But skill guys in charge of Michigan is all over the board. Yeah, I mean, we have some great skill guys, you know, entering the draft, like you say, you know, uh, Roman, myself, Mikey, you know, a lot of, a lot of skill guys that, you know, are. Uh, you know, possibly going to get selected high, you know, so just for Michigan, that's going to make, you know, make them look good. But, you know, like I said, we have great players here, man. My teammates, man, they, they mean so much to me, and I hope we can play together on some teams. I hope some of us get drafted to the same team, you know, just so we can continue to bring that winning mindset that we had at Michigan to another team. So um, 
you know, it's great, you know, having so many players and especially skilled players, you know. Uh, I did uh, meet with the Bengals, um, but, you know, co back to Coach Harbaugh, you know, how he prepared me for this. You know, he's just a down to earth, you know, good human being and then a great coach. You know, if you ever need anything, you could go to his office, sit down with him and, and he'll tell you what it is. You know, then on the, on, the, on the field, you know, he had these weeks where he said, I'm hot, I'm hot right now. And he's putting in new plays and stuff like that, you know, so he's hands on as well. You know, so I just uh, loved his enthusiasm. You know, I loved his presence on the field. You know, you could feel it. You know, you could feel his energy and how much he loved the game of football. You know, and that means a lot to us players. So, you know, playing for Coach Harbaugh the last four years, man, was nothing but great. You know, I'll definitely remember every memory that we have. And uh, like I said, it was a great four years. Blake, have you met with the, uh, have you met with the Ravens this week? And, and mm. what would that be like playing with the ball? No, I did, I did not meet with the Ravens. Yeah. Hey, Blake, uh, the Minnesota safety was up here, I think, in the same place yesterday. And I asked him the favorite guys he played against. Uh -huh. uh, that, that, that's amazing. <laughs> nah, uh, we, we actually, we talked before the game, you know, mutual respect, you know, but we, we knew we were going to go get it and attack each other uh, each and every play. You know, I, he's one of the top safeties in the draft, you know, shout out to him, you know, he's a baller. Um, but, you know, that was a great game, you know, but... Uh, we, we whooped up on him that, get, that day, uh, you know, so uh, we, we gave Minnesota the whooping. But, uh, <laughs> How did it make you feel that somebody said playing against you was one of the favorite games you had? You know, that means a lot. That means, uh, you know, I'm bringing something to the game of football that, you know, other players and other teams respect. And like I said, on the field, we respect each other, man. You know, we, great players know there's great players. And, uh, you know, I do the same to him. You know, like I said, we met when we were warming up before the game, and we knew it was going to be on and rocking. But, uh, you know, it means, it means a lot to me. <laughs> nah, it was a good game. Like, is there a single play or a game when the team is asked to define who you think you are as a player that, that stands out to you? You know, when, when a team asks that, um, you know, I have to give them a name, but I also tell them each and every game, you know, I gave it my all. You know, so you turn on the tape, you know, you're going to see some good things. Um, so I, I definitely tell them, you know, big games, Alabama, Penn State games, you know, Washington games that really meant a lot. But I tell them, you know, you turn on the tape any game, best believe I'm giving it, you know, my all my effort. Um, and I'm just bringing that, that mentality that, you know, each and every rep, I'm going to take advantage of it. And so, you know, that's what I'm telling the teams. Blake, what, what are your thoughts on the whole concept that your position is being devalued in? Yeah, my thoughts, uh, you know, it definitely sucks, but, you know, it's up to us to change that narrative, right? You know, so we have to go out there and continue the ball. You know, we have to, you know, be those game changers, those, those break those long ones, you know, just, you know, help the team win in any, any and every, you know, aspect that we can. But other than that, you know, uh, you know, guys going to take care of us, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it obviously sucks. Obviously running backs want to get paid more, but at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. You can only control the controllables. And that's the way I look at it. So, you know, I'm really not worried too much about that. Um, right now, you know, I'm just worried about, you know, going to a team and, and showing the team that I'm bringing a winning mindset, a competitive nature, and doing whatever it takes to win. Yeah, in addition to that, what you, what you said just kind of the mental part, of it, but physically, what is it about your game that will help, you know, diffuse that, that, that theory? You know, about my game, uh, like you said, mentally, I just go hard each and every play. You know, I go into it with a mindset I can't be stopped. I won't be stopped. And uh, whatever the team needs me to do to win, I'm, I'll do it. I'll play defense if I need to. You know, so, uh, you know, that's just the mentality I'm bringing. You know, a good leader, a great team player, someone that's going to uh, be vibrant, you know, smile all day long and just uh, try to do whatever I can. Well, you had the opportunity to stand on the stage last year, but then you decided to go back to school. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, the NFL I knew wasn't going anywhere. You know, it's been around for a long time. It's going to stay around for a long time. But you only get to do college once. And some of my brothers were going back. And there was, ultimately, there was unfinished business. There was unfinished business that needed to be finished. And I wanted to bring that to Ann Arbor, to Michigan, you know, and most importantly for my brothers. You know, I consider myself my brother's keeper, and I would do anything, you know, for any of them. They call me today right now I'll answer the phone you know and 10, 10 years down the line I'll be there you know if they ever need me again so 
you know, I knew going back, uh, we needed to win a national championship. And like I said, I knew the NFL wasn't going anywhere. I knew God was going to bless me with another opportunity, you know, someday. And that day's right now. So, you know, looking back, I don't regret anything. You know, I'm just thankful that, you know, my journey has gone the way it's gone. You know, playing in the championship games definitely uh, mean a lot. Um, but I think just playing a game of football, you know, helps you as a better player. But, you know, seeing those rewards, the, the, you're rewarded for your hard work and your, and your teamwork and stuff like that. So playing in those championship games uh, meant a lot. You know, we played in a bunch of them in Michigan and uh, especially in the national championship game. That was great. KJ wasn't always asked to throw the ball a ton and that's led to some people's kind of questions where he falls into the scrap. What would you say to those who question or wonder where, you know, if he's really is one of the higher guys in this draft? There's no question. You know, there's no question. I consider JJ one of the top quarterbacks, in my opinion, to be top. You know, uh, you know that might be biased, it might be not, but I'm telling you the truth. Uh, he's a, he's a field general. You know, he's going to manage the game really well. You know, he's athletic. He can run out the pocket. He can throw the deep ball. Check now. You know, medium sized pass. You, you name it, JJ can do it. And most importantly, he's just a good dude. You know, he's going to be a good leader. You know, the leader that you, you want your organization to follow, the quarterback. You know, he's the general of the team and. You know, I'm excited to see him at the next level, see what he does, because his ceiling is so high. He didn't even tap into, you know, his potential. You know, he's a hard worker. You know, he's going to put in the work, and that's necessary to make sure wherever he goes, they win. You know, I'm excited to see what number nine Last does. One, Blake, Blake, is Blake, Blake. this season that people aren't talking about that, that it will be this time next year? Who's, who's still in Michigan? Uh, no, I mean, there's, there's tons of players, man. I mean, they're already talking about Mason Graham, Kenneth Grant, Willard Johnson, you know, those guys, Jay Sean, that came in from Maryland. Um, you know, Donovan's going to have a breakout year. I talked to him last night, man. He's he's ready. He's prepared. Uh, ben Hall, you know, he, he's working his tail off right now. Um, and then the quarterbacks, you know, whether it be Toto, Orgy, Davis, you know, you name it. You know, they're going to be prepared. So I'm excited to see, uh, you know, what my boys do this year. You know, there's going to be a lot of breakout players and guys that will be ready for the league next year. But um, in the meantime, I know they're working hard with Coach Tress. You know, and I, I know they're uh, sticking together as brothers and they're going to carry on that culture, that winning mindset of, you know, doing whatever it takes to win. And, uh, you know, that's the culture that we built there. And so I know they're going to continue that and uh, it's going to be a great season. Thanks, guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.